What's up HVAC people? So this whiteboard behind me, I bought it for a very specific reason. And I want to tell you that right now. I bought it because I enjoy teaching. I enjoy education. I enjoy seeing the light bulb go off when somebody has that aha moment. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's very fulfilling to me. I don't know what it is. Not everybody likes to teach. A lot of people do like to teach. I just happen to like to teach. So this whiteboard behind me, I've done a few videos on things I've learned, things that I wanted to pass on to you guys because knowledge is power and I believe on spreading knowledge rather than hoarding it. Okay, and the last video I did, link is up here somewhere near my finger. You can watch it and come back and watch this one. So on the board right now, I've got a very basic diagram of a cooling circuit. Now, on the next video, I'm going to take you through the diagram show you how I learned to read diagrams. If you're on that very basic level learning right now, it'll be a good video for you guys to watch. If you guys have been in the trade for a while, I mean, it might be a refresher or something that you can learn to a way to teach your apprentices or your students. Uh, just, just another method. It's always good to learn other methods of, of other technicians and other professionals in, in the trade, right? Now, because I spent a lot of time on that, not a lot of time, but I spent about an hour drawing it out because I used a straight edge to make sure all the lines were neat and all that. I want to use that diagram for a few other videos like uh, troubleshooting videos and stuff like that with that same diagram. All right. But for now, what I want to do is take you to a site. I want to take you to a site to show you a low pressure switch in a pump down system. Now, traditionally, a low pressure switch in a system is closed, whether the system is running or the system is off. The low pressure switch will open if there's an issue with charge or if there's a restriction causing a low suction pressure, right? But otherwise it's closed and it's happy. On a pump down system on the off cycle, it's open and it plays a very integral part in a pump down system. So I'm gonna take you to the site, show you the machine, show you the diagram that's in that actual machine and explain to you. So in the summary of this video, I wanna leave a link to an article I wrote. That article is on pump down. There's a couple of different pump down methods in there, recycling and non-recycling, and the low pressure switch works with both of them, and you need to know the difference. Before I and show you that unit and that diagram, I want to leave something with you. Be open-minded in this, in this trade, in this industry. I've seen it too much. It happens to me. It happens to other techs where somebody shares an experience or something they've done, and somebody blurts out right away, well, that's not how you do it. That's not how that's done. That's not what that's for. Keep in mind, other people have other experiences other than yours. They have other problems. They've got other solutions and other ways of doing things. And their training might also be different. So keep an open mind. Say, hey, why are you doing it like that? Not, that's not how you do it. Because what that means is you're closed-minded. If you're closed-minded, you are only learning subjectively. You're only learning the things you feel you need to learn. You're not learning openly and objectively. It's very important, guys. We're all striving to be this. HVAC AF. You can't be that with a closed mind. You got to open up your mind and listen to other people's experiences and ask questions, not preach that that's not the way things are supposed to be done. Anyway, let's get to site. All right, guys. So this is a small walk-in cooler condensing unit. And in air conditioning, when you have a row of safety switches, like a high pressure and a low pressure safety, they're usually both closed, usually, most, most cases. Now, this is a pump down system. We are utilizing a solenoid that closes, the system continues to run, and then we pump down. What that does is it opens up the low pressure switch. So when the system is sitting static, it's not doing anything, that low pressure switch is open. In order for the low pressure switch to close, what has to happen is the solenoid needs to energize. Once it energizes, the system gets pressurized on the low side of the system. Once it gets pressurized, the system rises, the low pressure switch closes, and the machine starts to run. Now, this machine just actually started running now as I was explaining this, and I'll show you what it looks like on the diagram as well. So on the diagram here, the first safety switch we're going to hit is the low pressure switch, and you can see how that's open and it shows an encapsulated high pressure switch that is normally closed. 
So like I said, this switch will close once the solenoid opens up and the suction side of the system receives pressure and is pressurized, this will close. And then we come across here and eventually get to the compressor contactor where it starts the operation.